What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. So I used LastPass and recently they've announced an update basically saying that free account users can only use it on one type of device, i.e. either computers or mobile devices, unless you pay them money, which is incredibly annoying as I'm pretty sure that lots of other password managing services don't do this. I, for one, sometimes access long automatically created passwords on my mobile phone, and now I can't do that. Personally, I'd like to take all of my passwords out of the service and put them in another service or even possibly have them in an open source program that does everything like this and more. So how exactly do we take our passwords out of LastPass in an easy way that we can store them, print them, etc., etc.? Well, it's super simple. If you have it installed in your browser, simply click the extension I'll go ahead and click the account options button at the very bottom after I've signed in, and then I'll click advanced on the screen, then export, and finally LastPass CSV file. Then simply enter your master password, and after entering the correct password and hitting continue, we download a .csv file. Opening up this file with something like Microsoft Excel shows us a list of all of our passwords for all of our different sites, comma separated. And let's say that after you've opened the file, things aren't displaying as they should as in everything's appearing in the first column and it's got a bunch of commas and it's completely unreadable. Nothing's separated as it should be. Everything's piled up to the left-hand side. What can we do to fix this? Well, instead of showing you a blurry picture, I'll instead be downloading a sample CSV file off the internet or for the first link that I see. I'll copy it onto my desktop and open it up to show you exactly what I mean. This is what I mean. Everything is crushed up in the first column and the rest of these columns over here contain nothing. If I delete column A, everything loses all of its data. How do we fix this? Well, close the file, don't save any changes, and then right-click the actual CSV file itself that we just downloaded, click Edit, and it should open up with Notepad. If it doesn't, open Notepad separately and drag the file in. Then select the very first position that you can in the very top left and hit Enter to add a new line at the very top. On this new new line at the very top, we'll be type in SEP in all capitals equals comma and then save the file, close it and open the CSV file once again. This time you'll see things are displaying as they should be and not everything's piled into column A, everything's distributed as it should be. Now, of course, this is just an example file. Yours will be something like website, email, password, and then maybe some more data attached to that. And of course, with this file, you can save it as whatever you want and do with it as you please. It's all of your passwords saved in plain text, so do make sure to keep this file here incredibly safe as it has everything that you have saved on LastPass. It's no longer protected by a master password. Anyone with access to this file has access to every password of yours that you've had saved and you've now exported into said file. So do with it what you need, put it on a USB or something that you can physically detach from your computer and you should be safe. If you'd like to, you can also password protect it or even just migrate it across to a new platform using some sort of import feature that quite a few platforms have. If they don't have such a feature, you can obviously take this time now to save different logins into separate password managers or anything that you'd like to do from here. This video is just about exporting your data. What you do with it is up to you, really. Just make sure that you keep yourself safe as this is a very important file that you've just created. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. My name's been taken over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.